Welcome to our Holly Terminator X training part one. In this video, we're going to be learning how to download and install our Terminator X software and doing a basic software overview. We're going to have a lot to learn. Let's jump into our video so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at downloading and installing our Holly Terminator X software onto our laptops. Also doing a basic software overview here in this video to get familiar with the software so we can start to jump into our training videos here in our course. The very first thing we're going to do is jump into our internet browser. I have my internet explorer here. Once we open that up, we'll be typing in hollyefi.com at the top. That's going to bring us to the front page here of our Holly EFI website. Now we're going to go in our front page here and go to Holly EFI tech and support. We click on this. That's going to jump us to the bottom of the page. We can find we have our links down here. Tech and support documents is what we want to click on. That's going to redirect us to a new page. This is our tech resource library and here we can find all of the various software versions that we can download to work with the different Holly systems. So we have our Holly EFI V5 at the top here that's going to be associated with our HP and Dominator boxes. We have a separate course on the HP and Dominator boxes. We're interested in working with our Terminator X here. So in our Terminator X choices, everything here on the left hand side, that's a clickable link that's going to allow us to download some kind of a file or some kind of an EXE file to be able to install software. In this case, we're going to be looking for the V1 software or the V2 software. Now, I'm going to be sticking with the V1 software at this point in time for filming. The V2 software was just released uh, a few days ago. It's fresh. It's bound to have bugs and glitches. I want to stay away from that right now until I can get some seat time with it. So we're going to be sticking with what's tried and true right now is the V1 software. The biggest difference at this point between the V1 and V2 software is that the V2 software supports the GM LT Gen 5 engine. So the direct injection and variable valve timing or variable cam timing. Um, the V1 does not support that, uh, the, the V2 does, so we'll be looking at that most likely towards the end of the training course, just making sure that we understand um, and working with the V2 software. It will require a firmware update, so I'm probably going to go through at that point in time. If we do uh, get to that point, we'll be going from the V1 to V2. I'll show you how to do a firmware update, so your Terminator box is on the latest firmware. Right, right now, we're going to be sticking with the Terminator X V1 software. Now we can see the build version is 1.0. 0.121. So this designates the actual build version. We can see here if we're looking at the Terminator XV2 software, this is 2.0.330, and this designates the build version for the software. So this has been around obviously a bit longer. We can see that the number here is higher, so it's um, much more matured software, and it, we know it works. It's been out for the longest, so again, that's what I'm going to be sticking with. So for right now, I'm going to click on Terminator XV1 software, and it's going to go to the bottom of the screen. We can see we have a run option or a save. Clicking run just starts to run our executable file. It doesn't save it to our laptops. There's really no reason to go and save the executable file to do the download for the Terminator X software. I'm going to click run and allow it to go in. And we can see right now it's prompting me up. Do I want to install the Terminator X setup or software onto my laptop? And I'm going to say yes in this case. Let me give this a second. And then we'll be prompted with a few more screens here. So generally speaking, we have to install our USB drivers and we have to install the actual software onto the laptop. So let's click on our little icon here at the bottom. It's going to ask me if I want to go and allow the download of all of the files into, the, uh, to, into a new folder. We're going to be labeling that folder and saving it under the directory here, C drive, program files, x86, Holly, and then within the Holly folder, Terminator X. That's fine. I'm okay with downloading and installing everything into this specific folder it's creating. Now, if you've installed Holly EFI v5, which I have on my laptop, we'll find that that Holly folder will have a v5 specific subfolder within it. This is creating a new subfolder of Terminator X. So it's separating the v5 and the Terminator X to, to uh, install everything into. So we have all of our core files. That's fine. That's the default location here. I'll click next. It's going to be asking me here on the startup menu as a quick link. If I want to have it under Holly, on, we can see right now this is just going to be labeling as generically as Holly. Now, if I have my Holly V5 software installed and it was going as a default as Holly, it might be confusing going between the two. So in this case, I'll type in here Terminator X. So Holly Terminator X. So I have my startup menu shortcut link. I don't usually use this, but I just want to make sure I'm very clear with that so I know what that's going to be if I click on that icon or link. Now, this is what I do use frequently, desktop shortcut. This is going to be the icon we can put right onto our desktop, onto our laptops. That's going to allow us access, immediate access to the software. We don't have to go and dig through uh, going into that start menu to find the Holly link. So I'll click on this right now. So I definitely want to go and have a desktop shortcut. I'll click next and then install here. Now it's going to be doing the installation process. It has to extract all the files and install them into that Terminator X specific folder. 
we're also going to find here we have another prompt. Um, so several things need to go installed at one point in time. We've Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.